Hi everyone and welcome to my very first video. Today I want to show you my simple everyday kind of makeup look which you see here. So if you want to see how I do it, keep on watching. Starting with only moisturizer on my face, the first thing I always do is putting on primer and the one I'm using here is the Stila One Step Correct. I'm focusing it more, mainly on my T-zone area and around my nose because that's where my pores tend to be a little bigger. And then I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And I'm in the shade W2 Light Ivory. And I <laughs> put a little bit too much on the back of my hand. Putting it on with my Beauty Blender. Just putting dots all over my face and then blending everything together. Then I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15 and I'm putting it all under my eyes because I tend to have really dark circles. I put it on the bridge of my nose, above my lip and a little bit on my chin. And then I use my Beauty Blender again to blend everything in. Then I'm setting everything using the Wimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in Transparent and the brush I'm using is the Body Shop Blusher. And then I'm using the same powder with my F30 brush from Sigma all over my face. Then I'm moving on to contouring and I'm using Benefit Sula Bronzer and I'm actually using the little brush that comes with it to sculpt out my cheekbones and I'm also putting a little bit under my lip and on the sides of my nose to make them a little bit more contoured. And to make everything look more put together I'm putting a little bit on my forehead. Then I'm using the NARS Albatross Highlighter with my F60 brush from Sigma, which is actually a foundation brush, but this is what I'm using it for. And I'm putting it um, on, the on the top of my lip, on the bridge of my nose, and on my cheekbones to get a healthy glow. Next thing I'm using is the Model Co. Blush in Peach Bellini 02, and I'm putting it on with the Sigma F40 brush. And in real life it looked a little bit too much, so I'm just going over it with my powder brush again without any product, just to blend everything together. Then I'm doing my brows and I'm using the Dip Brow Pro Made by Anastasia. Anastasia? <laughs> I, know, I don't know how to pronounce it. And the color I'm in is Soft Brown. And I'm using a little brush by Rival de Loop, which is a German drugstore brand. And my spoolie fell. <laughs> yeah, I'm brushing everything out with a spoolie to make it look put together. Next thing I'm using is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, which I'm pretty excited about because I just got it a few weeks ago. And the first shade I'm using is Nougat, and I'm putting it in the crease, in my crease with the E40 Tapered Blending Brush by Sigma. Mm -hmm. 
This is just to define my crease a little bit and so I have a nice transition color. Then I'm dabbing some of the cacao chili color on the outside of my eyelid and I'm using a brush by Essence. And this is me looking crazy. And then I'm blending that out into my outer V with the same brush. Making sure everything is nice and blended so there are no harsh lines. Then I'm going back in with the E40 tapered blending brush and just making sure there really aren't any harsh lines. Just blending everything out. And my eyeshadow palette fell! <laughs> okay, then I'm just using my finger to put on some of the bonbon color, which is one of the gold shimmery colors in the palette. And I'm just putting that straight on my lid. And again blending everything out with the E40 tapered blending brush by Sigma. And then I decided I wanted some more sparkle and shimmer on my lid, so I'm also putting on the caramel color, which is the other gold tone. And some more blending. <laughs> you can never blend enough. Then I'm using the coconut cream color as my brow highlight and I'm putting it on with the E55 Sigma brush. Then I'm basically lining my upper lash line with the hot fudge color and I'm using the small angle E65 brush for it. This is just to make my lashes look a little bit more fuller, a little bit fuller and more defined. Then I'm just getting rid of any fallout using my body block body sharp brush <laughs> body sharp brush again. And then it's time for mascara. And the one I'm using is the L'Oreal Miss Manga mascara in black is black. And I really like this mascara. It's my favorite one the, at the moment. I'm just packing it on. First my upper lashes. And I got mascara on my eyeshadow.
And I got even more mascara on my eyeshadow. This happens to me every time. <laughs> then I'm just putting some of the Cacao Chili color on t under my lower lash line. Blending it out. And as an inner corner highlight, I'm using Butter Pecan. Then back to mascara, I'm putting it on my bottom lashes. And I actually went back and put another layer of mascara on my upper lashes, but I didn't record that. Then I got a q-tip and removed every mascara that got on my eyeshadow. And next thing are my lips. So I'm using the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Liner in Forever Rose just to line my lips and I'm also filling them in. And don't mind my weird faces I do. <laughs> Then I'm using MAC Cream, Max Cream Cup lipstick. Just put it all over the lip line I just put on. Okay, I then felt like the lipstick was just a little bit too pinky. So I decided to put on some of the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the color Melted Chihuahua. Just putting that all over my lip to balance everything out and to blend it and make it nice. And this is basically the completed look. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up. And I hope to see you soon. Bye!